Hi, this is Jason Kenney. I'm the Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism. I'm delighted to be here at the Tibetan Cultural Centre of Ontario, uh, a place that the Government of Canada, Prime Minister Harper, is helping to uh, refurbish so that it will be a place of uh, uh, Tibetan culture and uh, worship for uh, generations to come. We're proud of the uh, accomplishments of Canada's a small but thriving Tibetan community, uh, which started in large part as a result of a small uh, resettlement program of Tibetan refugees from India in 1972. Uh, when uh, His Holiness Kundun the Dalai Lama came to Canada uh, to meet Prime Minister Harper uh, and celebrate his honorary Canadian citizenship in 2008, uh, he asked Prime Minister Harper to renew Canada's humanitarian tradition of offering resettlement to Tibetan refugees in India, particularly in, in uh, Arunachal Pradesh region, where many Tibetans have been living in difficult conditions for many years. Uh, Prime Minister Harper uh, asked me uh, to explore the possibility of such a resettlement program, and I'm here today on this uh, celebration of the anniversary of uh, the Dalai Lama's reception of the Nobel Peace Prize to announce to the Tibetan community in Ontario and in Canada that indeed the government will launch a special resettlement program uh, for uh, Tibetans living in the AP region of India. Uh, starting next year, we will over the course of five years uh, welcome up to 1,000 uh, Tibetans uh, in AP region of India. Uh, they will be selected based on uh, their ability to integrate into Canada and uh, through the cooperation of uh, the Tibetan community and friends of the Tibetan community who will offer financial support to provide for the first year of settlement costs uh, for uh, resettled uh, Tibetan refugees living in India. Uh, this will be a huge uh, uh, help, I believe, to the Tibetan community in India uh, and to the Dalai Lama's efforts to resettle those living in some of the most difficult circumstances. It will also be a big uh, boost to the population of the Tibetan community uh, in uh, Toronto and across Canada. So this is very happy news and I was delighted to inform His Holiness of this uh, during his recent visit to Canada uh, in, uh, earlier this year in, in 2010. So we uh, want to thank the Tibetan community and its supporters for uh, opening their doors of hospitality and support uh, for those who are in need and we are uh, proud to be continuing Canada's uh, long humanitarian tradition of uh, providing a, a new and safe beginning uh, to those in need of our help. Now, as you know, the Prime, Prime Minister Harper welcomed His Holiness to Canada in his office on Parliament Hill when his, the Dalai Lama visited us in 2007. I was honored to attend that meeting during which His Holiness asked the Prime Minister to consider opening Canada for resettlement of some of the Tibetans living in Arunachal Pradesh region of India. As you know, many of those Tibetans are living in very difficult circumstances, while India has been a generous host to Tibetan refugees for 50 years, and we thank them for that. We thank India for that. Nevertheless, these people in AP do not enjoy full rights of citizenship and some of them are living in terrible poverty. And so, out of his compassion, His Holiness asked Prime Minister Harper to help some of those people follow your steps to Canada. And Prime Minister Harper in turn asked me to explore the possibility of a program to welcome Tibetan refugees from the province of India. And so over the course of the past uh, two years, I and my office have worked very closely with the Tibetan community and its supporters to explore the possibility of a Tibetan refugee resettlement program from the province. And I am pleased to announce today that beginning next year in 2011, Canada will invite and welcome 1,000 Tibetans living in the
This is a very exciting announcement because that will increase the population of Tibetans in Canada by about 15%. Relieve, relieve the stress on those who are living in AB. And those who come and are settled in turn will no doubt sponsor other family members. So we expect that the 1,000 who come over time will have others follow them. And this will both help the Tibetan community in India and strengthen the Tibetan community in Canada. We think this is a very good reflection of Canada's humanitarian tradition as a place of refuge and protection. Now, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Hard, it's, there is some hard work for the community to do. I know you're all contributing to uh, so many Tibetan causes and now the Cultural Center, but we will also need your support to help guarantee and raise some funds to assist in the initial settlement costs for the Tibetans coming from the AP province. Your community leaders will inform you about that over the months to come. But we are confident, the reason we are doing this program is that we are confident that the Tibetan community in Canada is strong enough, uh, is united enough, uh, and is dedicated enough to provide the support to help those people find a new beginning in Canada. Are you willing to help us with that? Great. Well, I look forward to coming back here sometime next year to welcome with you the first Tibetan refugees coming from AP province, and we look forward to their children growing up in this community center and, and, and maintaining the fidelity to their faith and to their culture that the Dalai Lama is asking you to maintain. We are pleased, I was pleased to be able to inform His Holiness about our program when he was here. The details will be released very shortly, uh, but so this is a happy day to celebrate His Holiness's great leadership and to celebrate Canada's spirit of generosity for those of you who are not. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> yeah.